Hi, and welcome to my YouTube page. I'm Pastor Rick Betes. This is my house here in Cranston, Rhode Island, but I am an associate pastor at Grace Bible Church in Somerset, Massachusetts. Maybe you folks have seen me online there. I do some teaching. I'm here to kick off my YouTube channel, this internet ministry, and I also want to talk to you guys about my book, Discerning Our Time. And I think it's important, this book, it politically and historically, points to a lot of the trends and what's really going on, and it has to do with end times here in America. Alex, did you have a question for me? Yeah, awesome. Hi, Pastor Rick. How you doing? Uh, the first question I have for you is, what inspired you to write this book? I think it's, it's uh, twofold, probably. It's, uh, I do have a great love for this country. I have a love for America. Um, I believe this country is having a lot of problems. It's, it's widely divided. I love the Lord Jesus Christ, and uh, I believe the Lord Jesus Christ is being diminished and squashed in this country a little bit at a time, pushed in a corner, and that's becoming a huge problem because what it does, in my personal opinion, is accelerate the end time events. Cool. So what's the big deal about end times and denominations? Denominations are a problem as far as I'm concerned. I'm involved in a non-denominational church, and as I go forward in my own ministry, I will remain non-denominational. The problem is, is they've, they've done an adding to and a taking away of the Word of God. And it's told not to do so right in Revelation 22. It's also in Ecclesiastes as much as uh, De Deuteronomy chapter 4 as well. is telling you not to take from or add to the Word of God. In fact, it's a curse if you do so. Denominations have done this since their on on start uh, way back in ancient times. Denominations have a way to drop guilt and shame on people and manipulate people and that's the problem. The denominations were never around during the Apostles time there's no need for them. That's a man-made religious system and I believe it's satanic and I know in, during the end times there is a one world religion and it is going to be affiliated with denominations. Cool. Alright so the title of your book is Discerning Our Time A Layman's Guide About America in End Time Prophecy what does America have to do with biblical prophecy? Well, there are maybe a handful of theologians since the 1940s or 50s, maybe even earlier than that, that did point to American end time prophecies. And as time has gone on, a lot of folks have gotten away from it. They believe uh, America is basically wiped off the map. I don't believe that. In Revelation 13, and actually I, in the book, I get into different, different sections of Revelation. I match it up with the book of Daniel, which is extremely important if you want to understand end time prophecy. Isaiah, Ezekiel, Daniel, they're very, very important to match up with the book of Revelation. The problem is most people aren't recognizing Babylon and the beasts, not the beast, beasts with an S, that are, that are highlighted in the end times. And I believe America actually, with its power and with its influence, is going to promote the, the uh, one world order, the one world religion. We're already heading in that direction. We're already into what we call globalization, and both parties are guilty of this. And if you want to get into the political end of things, this book, Discerning Our Time, actually covers the political end from the early 1900s, where I believe there was satanic influence that came in through the progressive liberal party. And that has led our country in a different direction, and I believe America actually is going to have a lot to do with the end times. Take a look at this book, Discerning Our Time. I'm going to read right off the back chapter before I close. Not the back chapter, but the back page, actually. And it was my synopsis that I put on here, and I think it's pretty important for folks to take a look at. Discerning Our Time, A Layman's Guide About America and End Time Prophecy is a compelling look at historic and political trends that push the reader to look upon biblical facts as to where America fits in concerning future events. This book is an easy read for people of all backgrounds and education levels. It is a breakdown of exactly what scripture means from original language to historical settings that all connect to American society as we know it today. And though this book is great and enlightening for the Christian community and a solid resource for pastors to draw from, it will truly be an eye-opening experience for the open-minded unbelievers or those who do not consider Christianity of any consequence within their lives. The changes within American society and our culture as well as our political choices are highlighted within the Word of God in this book. They are accurately brought out, church denominations are put to the test, 
as historical truths are revealed and many falsehoods about Christianity are dispelled. Truth about American education, business, and government are documented with the light of Scripture shining right next to the facts so the reader can judge for themselves. Many teachers, pastors, and theologians, as I said, don't believe America plays a significant role in the end times. Some teach that it will be wiped off the map. No one truly knows exact dates, or for that matter, what the Antichrist will look like, but there is a definite template laid out within the Bible and the Word of God. America fits comfortably in that template. This book is a must-read if you're interested in what direction America is heading in and who will rise to power in the near future. I thank you for your time, and I also send blessings and well wishes out to anybody who wants to follow this page, whether you disagree with me or you, or you, or you agree with me. We need to pay attention to what's going on today in America. Thank you.